right. What's up, guys? Greg Ever here of Catalyst Athletics. Uh, let's talk about some weightlifting stuff for another five to six minutes or so. Uh, we got Alyssa here, 80 kilos, jerk dip squats. Um, no, these are not supposed to be explosive. Totally different exercise than a jerk drive. It's a question I get a million times a year. Uh, you know, why Why do you not explode up at the top? Um, jerk dip squat is supposed to be a nice, slow, controlled movement to really focus on posture and balance and uh, you know, keeping tension in the quads rather than the actual drive Go. up. If you don't have that posture down, then there's no point in relax. being explosive up because you're going to drive the bar the wrong tall. way. Here's Audra, clean double, 65 kilos. Uh, second rep, Go. she hit uh, the thigh way too low, bumped that bar way out, so you saw a crush her there. Um, she, when she gets tired, when the weight starts feeling heavy, she opens up too soon. In other words, she brings in her hip, uh, her hip extension on, too soon. See. So that bar contact's a little low on the thigh and it, it gets pushed away. Close. So there's an article on Catalyst Athletics about that, probably a couple of them, but I unfortunately don't recall the name. I think it's something like the patient or, or something along those lines. Uh, point being, you really have to wait until that bar is pretty high in your thigh to initiate that explosion. And that's uh, going to allow you to... to bring the bar, especially in the clean, bring the bar higher up into the thigh without okay. moving away from the body. And you'll end up with a, a lot faster of not only the extension, but the change of direction. Um, and obviously, as you all have probably figured out, the faster you can change directions, the sooner you get under that bar, the easier it's going to be. And Danielle here, uh, 79 kilos. She's a 53 kilo lifter. So you can see... Um, that obviously wasn't a great example because she missed it, but she missed it because she was not confident. You saw that bar contact really high in the thigh, just like it does uh, in these poles. So you can see she waits really long, way up uh, to high thigh before she explodes. So that bar is able to move back in towards the hips without uh, contacting the thighs and getting pushed forward. So she's able to keep that thing right up, uh, moving into her. Audra here, it's like some uh, clean deadlifts or pulls off a riser, clean pulls. So she does it better with the pull. She's able to wait longer. Um, a little early on that, still kind of moving out slightly, but uh, she doesn't have the issue of, of uh, confidence to get in the way. It's just a clean pull. She doesn't have to get under it. So in, in that situation, it's a lot easier to be patient and be confident that uh, you can stand up all the way because you don't have to do anything else after that. So Amy, some power cleans off the blocks. She loves lifting off the blocks these days now that she's not competing anymore. Uh, takes out the one of the harder parts of the lift. I like lifting off the blocks too, uh, except for the fact that I eventually have to snatch and clean off the floor. So you got to do that some of the time. I'll draw another pretty good set. Um, this is Zach doing uh, what I call dip snatches. So basically bending only at the knees, really not leaning over the bar at all. Um, so, you know, it, it resembles more of the dip and drive of a, of a jerk. And I think, I feel like I talked about this. I, I feel like I've talked about all these things a million times before, but maybe I haven't on this video. But point being, it really gets you um, focused on driving with the legs and, and uh, creating that force against the ground. Uh, to get the bar moving up instead of just trying to snap the hips through it. So you get the speed and the elevation, not just one or the other. Amy again, she tends to kind of let her knees slide forward too soon when she pulls off the blocks. So one of the things she always works on is, is getting tension on the legs and trying to initiate the movement with a push through the floor rather than um, with an opening of the hips. Audra just a... Her side view there of uh, clean uh, riser, clean poles, 80 kilos. So she's got back starting to get maybe a little bit soft there, but that's about uh, seven kilos over her best clean. So it's not going to be perfect, more than likely. That was a little better for Amy. Knees didn't slide forward right away. Tamara, snatch high pull, plus snatch. She has a tendency to really not use her legs all the way to the top. She's got these super strong legs, but if you don't get him into the lift, uh, it doesn't do you any good. 
All right, guys. Uh, sounds like you tend to enjoy these, so please share, like them, do what you do, and uh, I'll talk to you next time.